Um, and heavy handed, is it kind of like, like you're saying that you could do stuff with your hands? Is that like controlling like, your own thing kind of? Yeah, kind of, right? I, it is. It's, you know, foreshadowing and uh, symbolism and metaphors and all those literary terms, those really exist in everyday life. That's how they make it in the literature in the first place. I think symbolically of what you do, you know, with you, your hands, the, you know, if you hold something, you know, the idea of to hold something, you know, in a, in a bigger sense, you know, or to, to break, you know, this is all this thing. To, to, to fix, to... Is uh, heavy-handed about, like, another one about the personal empowerment? Like, do you have to, like, know how to turn away from drugs? No. <laughs> it's not saying that. <laughs> um, it is, you know, the, the personal empowerment being the one theme and the other, the bigger, the more, you know, the biggest theme of the record being that personal empowerment fighting against letting that personal empowerment being taken away, right? There's a lot of different ways to fight that. And what if for somebody one, one way to fight that is to just, you know, get blitzed out of your mind so you don't have to think about it. For a yeah, that's what it's about. Point. Yeah. Hmm? May not be the most responsible song in the world, but, but it hopefully comes back around and asks the question if, you know, there's gotta be a better way to fight. something's live and it's because you know it's slower and there's some pretty specific um, instrumentation to it so if we don't have everybody there for it it just feels really empty it's good on the record but it's probably a bad it was probably uh wasn't a very good idea to to arrange that song that way because it's it's hard to play it live so that one sort of fell to the wayside. The rest of them play all the time.
She's got better things to 